Hello students, welcome to this class. In today's video I will be talking to you about capitalization, but we will be focusing on cultural, ethnic, religious, and language citation. Alright, so when to um, capitalize cultural, language, race, or religious um, words. Okay, we have a note here that says that words that refer to a particular culture, language, race, or religion must always be capitalized and sometimes hyphenated. I have three examples here on the board. The first one says, he is Native American. Okay, as you can see, actually this is a, an adjective, right, that describes somebody. He is a Native American. And we use the, a hyphen. The next one says, I am French Italian. Again, well, if this is not clear enough, it is a hyphen. French Italian. We capitalize both because they are a count, uh, compound adjective. And the next one says, Latinos and Negroes are fighting for their rights. Okay, we are referring to a specific or particular race, okay? Um, I do not mean <laughs> to say this in a racist way, but I couldn't find any other way to say it. I really love people. <laughs> but well, Latinos and Negroes are fighting for the rights. The only thing that we should focus on here is that when you talk about a particular culture, language, race, or religion, you must always capitalize and sometimes hyphenate the words. Well, next I will give you some more examples so that you can practice with me. Now I have two more examples for you. The first one says he is said to be Mexican-Canadian. And well, I capitalized each of those because I am referring to a specific culture, right, or race. And the next one says, Spanish is not easy to learn. Now I am referring to a specific language. And it is the beginning of the sentence, so it should be capitalized anyways, okay? Yeah, but if we talk about religion, you could say, um, she is Muslim. Actually, I'm not sure if that's the correct spelling of the word, or she is Catholic, or Christian, whatever, okay? Well, next, I will leave you some homework so that you can have something to practice with at home, and so that you do not forget the importance of capitalization when you are referring to cultural, ethnic, religious, and language citations, all right? Well, pay attention to your homework. For homework, you are going to write four sentences capitalizing terms that relate to a particular culture, language, race, or religion. Remember the rules, all right? And well, leave your homework in the comment section below this video. If you have any question, comment whatsoever, please Leave it down there in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Fabi, and I will <laughs> see you in the next video. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. I'm to you about capitalization, but today we are going to focus on government terms. When